Hello everybody, my name is Owen Fox, you know me, and welcome to this, another live video on Facebook today. Right now, in this beautiful moment. Ah, smelling my beautiful bergamot essential oil. I want to say thank you for joining me and let's get, let's pray together in in joy, love and gratitude for the gift of life and for being alive here in this moment today. So thank you. Holding hands. <laughs> so there's a lot of suffering and pain in the world and within us who make up the world. And what I want to say in this video is let's all pray together for peace in our hearts because we do must become the change we want to see in the world. And what I'd like to envision is the idea of like holding hands in a circle in nature amidst trees and grass and sky any time of the day and a feeling of connection and human unity and togetherness so I invite us all now to just get in the moment just to relax breathe to center ourselves, ourselves, so we become aware of our surroundings and our sense perceptions. And how we feel emotionally. Because I wanted to make this video because there's a lot of suffering in people and I want to say life is hard, but it's meant to be this way. And don't worry, because this is a journey and we take it one step at a time and one day at a time. And we're going to be okay. And not only are we going to be okay, we are actually okay. So have faith, trust that you are loved and guided. We all are loved and guided, including the people we may be codependent to or attached to. Um, or brothers or sisters, our mums and our dads, our children, our partners, you know, everything is okay, as all apparently the sages apparently say. I haven't met them personally, <laughs> but apparently the people in history say all is well, and it is well in my opinion. Like ultimately there are no mistakes, everything happens in divine timing divine timing everybody so be patient relax settle into the journey you're on the roller coaster ride it's like this it's crazy there's suffering and pain and loss we have these attachments in life and they get stripped and pulled away they get tugged away like just ripped off of us ripped out of us and this causes us suffering you know but at the end of the day, we can take this like we can take this with a, a sense of knowing that the only constant is change. And in my life this year, one of the things that I've learned the most is to become okay and prepare and expect change and loss. Like at the end of the day, everyone, what's more constant than everything's changing all the time? Like just think about it. <laughs> Like, everything is changing all of the time. So we can't become clingy and attached to what we have. Like, and at the same time be grateful for our bodies, our arms, our legs, our fingers, our ears, our voice, our house. We're gonna move house. We could lose our money or our house or our body parts. We're gonna lose people. We're all gonna die. You're gonna pass on. We're gonna transform back into spirit again. So just like, play with it. Adopt an attitude of playfulness with life. Non-seriousness, non-heaviness. Like, for me, I'm very serious about healing and I'm very serious about emotions and compassion, uh, love. Um, I'm serious about the serious stuff, healing. But I'm playful and 
take a lighthearted approach about as much as things you can in life. Like, it's a gift. It's a gift. The present moment is a present. Um, so we may as well just like live and make the most of it. Um, so in this this year, everything's changed for me. It's been the biggest year of my life. It's been the most pl it's been the most of everything of my entire life. The most hards hards and goods, easies and positives and difficulties. I don't know if it's been the hardest, like most suffering year of my life. It definitely hasn't by any means. But it's it's been a rough, tough, crazy year. But I love it, and I'd never take it back. I almost want another one <laughs> like this. But you have to be careful what you ask for. Like, really, I'd rather have more of the higher vibrations and less of the this crazy, unexpected um, stress, hardships, and struggles. There's been a lot of crying and tears this year, but there's been opening and transformation, like the butterfly or the phoenix. I like it. Like, adopt... I want to encourage us all to adopt a warrior and a warrioress attitude. So when it comes to healing, just let out the pain, let out the crying, the tears, the suffering, the hurt. Because Maureen says, healing please! Just bless yourself or whatever, do something. Do something ritualistic and I do this. Yes, there's like this in public in the sun waiting at the bus stop for ages, like for 20 minutes, like just maybe more. It's just like praying. <laughs> just praying! Praying and playing with people driving by. Sometimes I see loads of people, like, not loads of people, but some people looking. And, but everyone's just nice, you know? It doesn't matter. Who cares? I'm just connecting to the sun. The sun was shining on me. I was like... I was praying for all of my friends and their families and their challenges. Their partners and their, their people in their life that are causing them pain, suffering and expansion. They're our, our teachers, everyone. They're our, like soul contracts. Hey, Jonathan! <laughs> no way, Jose! Jonathan, yeah, I'm doing really good, actually, thanks. <laughs> Jonathan, I met in London in a hostel from Sweden. I hope you're doing well, Jonathan. <laughs> Dean says, thanks, Jonathan, lovely to hear from you. Yeah, in my heart. Dean, good morning. Um, good morning, Dean. Maureen says, post Cardiff, is it? Post Cardiff. <laughs> oh. Tinami Rose Ecliptic. I love your name. It's always an interesting one to speak that. T Tinami. <laughs> Maureen, thank you. Barbara, be a warrior. Be a warrior, everyone. Be a warrior. Because life is life is actually meant to be not easy. Um, we've signed up for this like this uh, roller coaster ride. So Tony says, great message. Thanks, on. Thanks, Tony. Thanks everyone for joining me. By the way, you know, like taking a bit of time out of your day to you hear the music. I love it. Hi, Brianna. So this one, my, this is my favorite music. Snatam Kaur. She's my favorite. It's healing, clearing, and uplifting. I've listened to like six of her albums on YouTube this year, over and over, because I was going through a really difficult, challenging year of my conscious life. It's helped me. Hey, Jeanette. No way, Jose. Good morning. I can see your smile, I can see your face right now in my mind, in my heart. <laughs> nice to see you. <laughs> Thinking about you, I was yesterday, last night. So, uh, <laughs> this year I've made the most friends. I've cra cra connected with crazy awesome people. I've, I've had serious challenges and hardships too. But life has supported me with the people in the right time, in the right place. Exactly the right time, by the way. For me, what's resonating with me... For me, what's resonating so much with me is divine timing. I really feel there's an, an unfoldment and an unwrapping of our life, little by little. And it's all got to do with expansion and healing and growth. As we expand, heal and grow, new things and people and places come into our lives at the right time. Especially at the right time. It's all perfect, everyone. We've just got to trust and do the work on ourselves. Um, I'm really glad you're all watching. Uh, thanks for joining me, holding hands in a circle, a lovely community. <laughs> okay, so Mike says, good morning, on. I'm just away or about to hunt for mushrooms. That's nice. Yeah, lovely to get out in nature, everybody. Nature's very healing. So I hope this music isn't too loud, is it? One minute.
Okay, cool, thanks. This is my pink uh, sarong. It's actually curtains, but I also used it as a scarf yesterday. And it can be used as a bandana, as a head wrap. And you can use it as a blanket. <laughs> and I used those bed covers before. Such a, it's actually funny, cotton pink curtains. All right, cool, so thanks, Michael. Bit bad reception there. Okay. Tim, Tinami says, I'm grateful for your holding space and love to hold, love to hear your vibrations. Thank you. What I like to embody is just like lightness and the energy of a, of a child and an animal. Like that's what resonates with me the most. Um, cause that's who I feel I am. And I, we all are the children, our inner child at heart. Remember when you were a small child, you're always having fun, right? You're playing. You, you didn't, you had carefreeness. You had carefreeness, you had spontaneity, you had fun, you had playfulness, you had loads of laughter. You got dirty, you interacted with your now moment surroundings like trees, cars, flowers, people and fences, everything. You played in the moment. You were less in your thoughts. <laughs> Jonathan says, I miss you, bro. Come back to UK and eat some avocado and banana. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Jonathan. Miss you too, bro. And yeah, it's, it was a, an interesting trip to London, all right. But you're a special person for me there. So thanks for standing out and helping me and just being kind, sweet person and friend. Your roommate. So in life, everyone, we've forgotten to have fun, to play. We've gotten into our heads and, and we worry and we hold on to the past mentally too. And what we do, we don't do what we used to do when we were children. So we have some baggage to clear and to understand and to let go of. Then we can be in the moment again and play and have fun. And that is a meditation, everyone. I, I don't do any meditation, which maybe it would benefit me, but just don't feel like I don't reson I don't, maybe I could, somebody, a friend, a new friend said to me, maybe meditate after being in nature. And that's maybe a good idea. Maybe I could try that. Um, but playing is a form of meditation. It's, it's a meditation laced with joy, combined with, with joy. So swimming in nature or swimming in the sea or any generally exercise is a form of nature too. Playing, having fun, enjoying yourself. And I always resonate with nature. Like if we can do any of this stuff in nature, Yesterday, instead of having a nap in my bed because I was tired in the day uh, before going out, I decided to lie down in my underwear in my back garden in the sun. I was way better. I was grounded. I was getting air, sun. <laughs> but everyone, I don't know what else to say, really. Does anyone have any like questions or something like that? I don't know. Just a, sh a short video this time. Um, but thanks for missing me, Ulf. Love you too. Or, yeah, Ulf. Jonathan Ulf. Love you too, bro. Um, I just want to instill a sense of hope and freedom, unselfconscious freedom in the moment, playing and having fun in the moment more. Joke. But to have this energy, it's important to look after your vessel, your vehicle, your physical body. So I recommend going to bed around 10 o'clock at the latest. Or, you know, you can splash it up to 11 if you really want. I don't, I don't care. I go up to bed sometimes at 12 o'clock. But I'm trying to go back down to the 10 o'clock mark. It, it's better for me. I used to go to bed at half nine. But um, connecting with the circadian rhythms and the cycle of night and light, like sun and darkness. So I'd recommend, Jeremy, as much, eating as much raw foods and light foods in your diet. Don't overeat. Don't overpressure or overstress your mind or your emotions or your physical body. And when you don't overstress your physical body by doing too much, by not, like don't do too much, you've got more energy. And when you have more energy, you've got a better emotional mood and a better mental state. Then you can deal with stress and challenges in life and you can have more fun. So for me, life is short. It's really short. It's kind of really long too. It's a weird type of scenario. I just want us all to have more, be more healed and have carry less burdens, everyone. Like, we need, we, I want more healing in the world, um, in the people, and like, the, I don't know, it's all perfect, like, I, I almost am not even trying to change the world, I just want to, like, be happier myself, it's, like, because it doesn't matter how many people are around happy, I know, synchronistically, I meet the happiest, I meet the people who are ready, for, are meant for me, the people who help me to heal and share happiness with, 
and I'll help them to heal and share happiness. So in a way, there's enough people in the world, you just have to focus on yourself. Hello everyone new watchers, <laughs> George, Susan, Laura, Marlon and Julie. Welcome to the video, I'm glad you joined, thanks. <laughs> so um, I'm just about to end the video actually. Um, life is much simpler than we think, but we think we make it com more complicated. But life is challenging and hard, so what I'd want to suggest is to seek help through comforting conscious friends who love and support you, and they, they are rooting for you. They want you to get better in life. Look after your physical body, so it's what most important, and that means rest if you're tired. Try to be like an animal, they rest when they're tired, right? Children play, then they rest when they're tired. So listen to your body in all aspects, every aspect. Three listen to healing music like I listened to today in this video Snatan Kara and other music, there's loads of healing music exercise and move your body and play and have fun so move and circulate your body and then do things that you find fun and enjoyable or creative ah, so do what you find creative and expressive. So express your individuality and express your truth and your creativity. So make stuff. We make with our voice, with our talking, singing, music, art, our interactions, our relationships. Everything is a creative process. So we're always creating and that's what we are. We're creators. And then we co-create with other people who are creators too. But most people are unconsciously creating. So if we can consciously create as a creator and know when everything we do, we're creating all the time. Like putting this essential oil on the boards in my kitchen is a creative act and it has an effect on the people and the surroundings. So everything is creative. Soon in a few minutes I'm going to have a bath with some lavender and maybe rosemary and eucalyptus in the bath. So we have to pamper ourselves, everyone we wants us to practice more self-love and pampering. And I'm double blessing myself or whatever, quadruple, sexagon, hexagon, <laughs> sexagon. We need to pamper ourselves. I want us all to love ourselves more, everyone. So nurture and pamper yourself and try and keep your energy at top levels as much as possible. And I'd always recommend taking a break from solid food sometimes if you feel up to it and you're happy to do it and it's harmonious. Like do half a day of juice. Do a third of a day of juice. Do one day of juice. Do one week of juice. Whatever you want. It could be even a month. Whatever. It could be longer. So just do whatever you want to do. You're going to save loads of energy and do a lot of physical healing and have a lot of energy, generally. But there's a million ways to practice self-care. Today I want to maybe buy a selenite rock crystal lamp. It's a beautiful white, like beautiful, gorgeous, silvery moon lamp. I have a sun one in my room. Um, there's like, there's so many ways to have fun and enjoy your life. So I'm gonna, yeah, I think. I'm, so Brianna says, "Thank you, Owen. I agree." Heart. Anyway, everyone. So just have a beautiful day today, and life is precious. It's short. I bless myself when I resonate deeply with something, or if I feel something is like touching me, and it's gratitude. It's also gratitude um, for feeling blessed. So, yeah, just, that's why I'm always blessing myself, like a hooligan. <laughs> Quergan. <laughs> Quergan. <laughs> Hi, thanks. Hi. Okay, everyone, so I'll let you go and have a lovely day. Um, thanks for watching and um, lots of love and respect to you. You're a beautiful soul. We're all beautiful souls, beautiful spirits, every single person. So forgive your past, let go and heal and let go and of any regrets and non-forgiveness towards yourself. The past was meant to be, you did your best, we all did our best. So let go and send people love and healing and blessings. Like just send them love and blessings, like exes, parents, people who've hurt you and perpetrated. Let go and love and forgive, same with yourself. And now let's just go do better going forward into the future. It's uh, pretty simple that way, but it takes, it's a little bit of it's a process, so. 
Healing is, is the most important thing in life. So I'm going to end the video. Healing is the most important thing in life, in my opinion. Along with, coupled with, and followed with, having fun, happiness, play, joy. And fun, happiness, play, joy, bliss, laughter, and playfulness, and lightness. It's all together, okay? Be like a child, an adult child, like carefree, spontaneous, fun, responsible. Look after your health in every single way and practice self-care and self-love to the best of your ability. <laughs> See you, Jonathan. And let, yeah, that's it. That's, that's pretty much it. It's kind of simple. Heal, have fun, and practice gratitude and appreciation and pray. So that's it. See you, everyone. Have a nice day and thanks for watching. Have fun. Love you. See you. Thanks for all the love.